So with any other thoughts, anything else you're really excited about that we should know? Yeah. Um, I think RHEL 7 is a defining moment for Red Hat as a company. We've done a lot of changes in the way we approach the product development process. We've seen some great collaboration across organizations, across people. So we will be at this point when we even get to the beta, we will have the entire company standing behind row seven, ready to go, answer the customer's questions, take their feedback, and plow that back in. The, the surface area of an operating system like RHEL is over 2,000 packages. And so this is our chance to really enhance uh, all of the major areas that are, are being innovated in the upstream communities, but also a chance for us to respond to the requirements and things we're hearing from our customers. So we're all looking to RHEL 7 as a chance to sort of start fresh, uh, pull in a lot of the innovations that have occurred upstream and in the community. And that brings in the same challenges, that you're integrating a lot of new things. And so for things like System D or GNOME 3, there's a lot of concerns about migration for customers. These are new technologies with new interfaces that they might find surprising. So there's a lot of work going in on making it better for customers and making easing the transition for them as they pick up the new technology. It's the same challenge every time. Enterprise Linux stays stable for a very long time. And it means that ahead of time, you have to prepare Enterprise Linux to run well on systems that do not exist yet. And it requires a lot of preparation and careful planning together with the different partner companies. There is a huge opportunity to really establish well as the foundation of the open hybrid cloud by making it pervasive. The platform is essentially a key gating factor for the productivity or the agility of a development team. And we want RHEL to be a great platform for all these things.